Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. <laughs> I'm sorry for not making a lot of content lately. It's because I have been super busy. I got a job. I'm a pet store employee now, so that's pretty cool. I apologize if I talk really weird right now. It's because I just got a tooth fracture filled. Yeah, it just, and my jaw hurts and I've got a headache, so. So because I started this new job, I've been getting like some really weird scenarios already at this job. You probably already know what it is from the title of this video, but it's okay. <clears throat> God, my jaw hurts, it hurts to talk. So last week, some lady came in with a paper bag. She said that she like called us and said she had an animal to bring in that she found. She didn't know what to do with it. What was really surprising was I didn't know what was in this bag and she told me, she said, I have a crusted gecko. I have been looking for crusted geckos for a really long time for the bioactive terrarium I've been building with my dad, which I posted videos about if you're curious to watch them. And then I started just asking her questions like, oh, how did you find him? And she told me she found him in her yard and I guess it was like her neighbor's pet and, and he was hanging out in her flower pot or something like that. And I don't really know what was going on, but I'm pretty sure this neighbor just released him into the wild because he didn't want it anymore, um, which is pretty common with reptiles because reptiles can sometimes have a lot of upkeep and then people don't want it anymore. So then they just throw it out into the wild, think it'll be fine, <clears throat> which is not the case. Like there, it's a problem for so many reasons, like potential invasive species, like in Florida, that they could easily just die out in the wild as well. And that's that. And my manager was like, oh, hey, We'll take him, we'll find a good home for him. But then I looked at her and I was like, I'm actually looking for crested geckos. Like, do you mind if I take him? And she said, yeah, sure. Is that okay with you? And I'm like, yeah. She basically kept saying it was like destiny or some stuff like that, but he's a pretty big crested gecko. Like when I opened the bag, I was like, woo. He's a big one. Hang on, I gotta take a jaw break. Uh. Anyway, so it was pretty, pretty cool. Um, and so I kept him in the bag and I took him home after work and put him in the terrarium. Oh my gosh, look at that. Here he is. Hi. You ready? He is doing super great and what was surprising to me is how good of a condition he's in for being outside like i would think he would be skinny or if he would have stock shed or metabolic bone disease or some something crazy like that because i don't know how well the previous owner took care of him i was looking for like the sunken eye thing with crested geckos and i was looking for like other signs like <clears throat> and he's a full-grown male and i also do not know how old he is so that's another thing Ugh, i'm getting like the worst headache and jaw pain talking right now because i've been mostly quiet the whole day um if something comes up of course i'll take him to a vet but so far he's looking really good another thought i had was i don't know if this story is actually true she could be saying this so that we'd take him because if it was just somebody who didn't want their animal anymore we probably wouldn't take it but since he was found outside, we took him. So I don't know if she was, if this was her gecko because she seemed to know his sex pretty well for somebody probably wouldn't know much about crested geckos. Like, I don't know how she didn't think it was a wild gecko or I don't know how she didn't think, it, like, I don't know how she knew it was a male. It could be true, but it could, could have been hers or her neighbors and her neighbor didn't want it anymore and just gave it to her. So she really, really cared for the well-being of this gecko. So now he's mine and I've kind of decided to name him Hummus because he looks like Hummus and I thought it was a really funny name. He's really cute and he's still got his tail, which is surprising because when crested geckos lose their tail, they never grow back. I can't do this video, it hurts. So yeah, I guess here's some clips of Hummus and and let me know what you think. And you can zoom too. Look at that. Look at the way the legs are. They look like they're pants. I know. They're, they're, their feet kind of remind me of paws. 
Yeah. They're like weird how they walk on them. He's got his tail too. Would you like your name to be Hummus or Frito? He was licking because he's got. Oh, he's got fur. He's got his dog fur. <laughs> Gecko. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, where are you going? If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'm going to stop talking and go to sleep. I got a crusted gecko, finally. Woohoo. Okay.